getting a little bit I can't breathe, I don't know why. <laughs> but okay, um what's going on guys? It's an on here and welcome back to a brand new video. Alright, so it's January first. That's insane by the way guys. Um I still can't believe it's January first. That's crazy. <laughs> but it is and I guess we just gotta take it that way. By the time you guys are watching this, it's already January 2nd, the second day of 2018. Bruh, that's insane. Just thinking of the fact that it's already 2018, I'm like, what the heck? And, uh, <laughs> we start school tomorrow. Great. Anyways, guys, so, um, I'm here to talk to you guys a little bit about something, as you guys could probably see by the title. Um, you guys are probably thinking about, uh, who are you talking about? Um, I'm talking about actually Melody. A lot of you guys may know her from my vlogs and stuff because she was in my vlogs a lot. <sighs> and, uh, she was a really good friend of mine. And I want to talk to you guys about her for a bit because I feel like I don't know what's going on between us. I feel like we may or may not be friends anymore. I'm not quite sure. Before I start this, you know, telling you guys what's basically going on between us, I just want to let you guys know, please don't send her any hate on her Instagram, on her channel. Um, I know she's starting to post a lot there. She's, star she's starting to grind more um, on her channel now. So, uh, guys, just let her do her thing. You know what I'm saying? She's trying to make it big, just like me. Um... So please don't like send her any hate, just you know send love and positivity because she was a good friend of mine. She never um, backstabbed me in any way. She never really did anything bad to me. But let me just tell you guys what is going on between us. And um, yeah, I just want to let you guys know, don't send her any hate. Um, I don't think she really deserves it. But I'm just here to tell you guys what just basically what happened between us that's about it so uh we've been friends for over a year and we got closer because of our you know our youtube channels because you know she's been doing this since the eighth grade and i've been doing this since the 10th grade which was last year and um i gained like 1k subs in four months um you know on the road to 3k baby let's go and uh in four years, she gained about 60-something subscribers, like 67 to like 70 subscribers. And I remember in one month, in like, yeah, in like one month, I gained 400 subscribers. And once I told her that, she was like, what the heck? This is insane. This is crazy. And I was like, yeah, I mean, it's not a lot. Like, there's a lot of YouTubers out there who get very, very lucky <laughs> because, you know, usually it takes most YouTubers to gain 1 million subscribers in 3, 4 years. Um, but some people, they gain 1 million subscribers in like 1, 1, 2 months. And it, it's just really insane. And I told her that. And she was like, yeah, but I've been doing this for 4 years. Well, no, at the time she was doing it for 3 years. She's like, yeah, but I've been doing this for 3 years and I never gained even close to 400 subs in one month that's insane and i said yeah i mean i've been uploading a lot and then she was like yeah but i've been uploading a lot too and whatever and i guess we got kind of close so yeah we got really really close after that because um you know because of the whole youtube thing and you know we started talking more or whatever and coincidentally coincidentally <laughs> we were in the same english class and coincidentally we sat next to each other, so that was pretty funny, and that was actually pretty cool, because, like, I get to vlog with her even in class. Oh, I, I forgot to tell you guys how we met. We met through a mutual friend, because um, my algebra class in ninth grade, they, like, she was pregnant, so they, they changed everybody's classes. In my class, they changed everybody's algebra class, so I moved into Melody's algebra class, and um, my friend Linda... Uh, a very, very good friend of mine. Um, she was never in my vlogs. So I just know her. And um, she, you know, me and her knew each other. So we sat next to each other. And she was also friends with Melody. So I guess that's how we kind of met. And uh, yeah, that's all I got to say about how we met. <laughs> but yeah, so we met through there. And we became really close because of the whole, you know, YouTube channel thing. 
And um, once again, coincidentally, the universe was like, you guys should be close friends. Um, so yeah, coincidentally, we just sat next to each other in English class and it was really cool. It was really fun. He, you know, we started doing videos together and we're like, yo, we should, you know, do more videos together. We started walking together every day after school because we thought maybe we would help each other to grow and stuff like that. Guys, obviously, you can see my view count, you could see my subscribers. I'm not obviously a big YouTuber, but I will say this. I am the reason why she reached 100 subscribers. Why, you may ask, is because I would literally shout her out. She never asked me to shout her out. But yeah, so I'm just saying, I, I, I really do think that I'm the one who, you know, helped her reach 100 sub subscribers because before that, she had like 70 subs and I helped her reach like... 20 30 more subs most of you guys went to sub to her most of you guys would be like oh what's her channel and i'll tell you guys her channel and i would shout her out in many of my videos not one not two but like literally more than like 10 videos of mine and sometimes we would do challenges together we would try to schedule days to like do skits and stuff like that so i could help her grow more i'm not gonna lie i do get more views than her i do i don't know how i gained four uh, 1k subs in four months and um she needed that help so i was like yo why not but, um, yeah, so, like, you know, we started doing videos together or whatever, and, uh, you know, you guys see, we, like, how we act on camera, we act the same off camera, like, we're totally cool with each other. Like, we don't just, like, oh, let's do a video, and, like, I could gain her more subs, and she could gain me more subs, and, um, that's about it. We don't talk after that. Like, it's not like that. We literally talk, like, almost all the time. People, we talk all the time to the point people thought that we were best friends and no she's not my best friend and she doesn't like to have best friends I don't know why but people literally thought we were best friends and I'm like that's kind of weird even though we don't do even though we do videos together all the time and we always vlog with each other and do skits and challenges you know what I'm saying like we do like we did many many videos together um and I guess we kind of helped each other grow at the same time yeah but we would like help each other during the lunch period and stuff like that and we, I would help her read her lines and you know we would help each other out and so <laughs> I guess the thing is about Melody is because she doesn't like to have best friends I don't know why I guess she's afraid of being close with somebody um I don't know why she should be afraid to cl be close with me because I've dealt with many many fake friends but I just went through that ish and just got through my day basically but, oh man, let me drink water for this one. But, <laughs> a few weeks later, she called me. Um, and she, like, th this This is the funny part of the story, okay? So you guys could have a little tee-hee in this video. <laughs> but basically, she, like, t told me, it was like 11 p.m. on a Sunday. And I'm like, yo, I have to wake up at 5.30 in the morning and you're freaking calling me at 11 p.m. That's insane, bro. But she basically uh, called me. She was like, yo, I need to talk to you, whatever. I was like, okay, yo, what's up? And then uh, she was like, I need your help. And I, I legit thought, I even told her this. I was like, yo, are you getting deported? <laughs> I know it was a racist joke, but it was really funny. And we both started laughing. Um, but... She was like, what the heck? You racist, you racist. And we just started laughing about it. That's the funny part of the story. But no, she needed help with like YouTube or whatever. And I told her, yeah, of course, I'll help you out. Like I'm always that person. Like, of course I'll help you out. Unless if you do something bad to me, then uh, uh, move out the way, bro. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I was like, yeah, I'll help you out, of course. And so she was like, oh my God, thank you so much. Thank you so much. It really means a lot to me. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Um, She also told me, she was like, hey, can we face them this time it was a school day but but it was 4 p.m so it wasn't night time it wasn't when i was about to go to sleep so yeah it was 4 p.m on a school evening or night or afternoon whatever so she facetimed me and she was like yo i really need to speak to you and she was crying and i was like um oh my god is it something bad like i look li before she before we actually facetimed i asked her i was like is it something bad and she was like yeah it kind of is i was like holy crap and i told her i was like i'm getting you're making me nervous like what is it and oh by the way this time i did not think she was getting deported so huh, calm yourselves so she told me she started crying and i was like yo are you good bro i was like are you okay what happened she's like I, I don't know how to tell you this and i was like bro i was getting so nervous i, was, I told her i was like melody you usually never prank me and when she does prank me it's like throwing a snowball at me and like those kind of stupid pranks like she would do or like push me into the grass like it would be really funny and stuff 
but she would never prank me that way. So I was like, yo, are you pranking me? Because it seemed like she was kind of joking around, like pranking me and stuff. It turns out, well, it wasn't a prank. She told me her stories about how like she doesn't really like to get close with people. And she has this friend, I'm not going to name her name because she usually doesn't like to be in videos and I hang out with her sometimes. So she has this friend who I actually thought they were best friends because they would hang out all the time and stuff like that. And I asked her one time, I was like, hey, are you like best friends with her? And um, she would say no. And I was like, oh, really? You guys always hang out? You guys always talk? I see, like, especially in your Snapchats, you guys were in freaking Times Square together. And then she was like no we don't like you know we don't hang out and then um she was like i don't really like to get really close to people i was like okay that's that's fine with me if you don't want to get close to me that's that's pretty cool and um she was like you know i don't feel like you know having a best friend i was like okay no offense you know melody you're awesome but i already have a best friend so I don't really look at you as a best friend, I just look at you as a close friend. I feel like those are two different things because I have told Melody things that I have told my best friend. But <laughs> um, but there are some other things that are really, really personal that I've never even told Melody about, but I have told my best friend before. So yeah, I told her that and she was like, yeah, I know we're not best friends. And I was like, okay, so what's your point? And then she was like, well, I think that we should kind of give each other some space. It felt like she was breaking up with me. I was like, bro, are you breaking up with me? Trying to make it... Uh, a little joke and I was like yo are you breaking up with me and then she was like yeah and then she tried to make us a joke as well and then we just started joking and it, it was like I, I didn't really feel anything surprisingly like I didn't feel hurt or anything because I understood her she doesn't want to really have a best friend and um I get her story she told me some stories I don't know if I'm allowed to say on camera so I'm not um so yeah she told me that she doesn't really have best friends or whatever I was totally cool that you know and uh, we were totally cool. We were literally joking about it. And she even said, she was like, oh, I'm going to say hi to you in the hallways. Don't worry, we're still friends. And I, and she said, the reason why I'm telling you this is because I don't want you to be blowing up my phone. Oh my God, are you mad at me? Are you mad at me? Or are we still friends? Are we still friends? And she said, but I'm going to answer you those questions. She did answer me those questions. She said, one, I'm not mad at you. We're still talking, as you can tell. And also she told me that um, we're still going to say hi to each other in the hallway when we see each other. It's not like we're never, ever going to talk again. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. And I even told her, I was like, oh, are we going to still be able to film videos together, like the old times and stuff? And she's like, yeah. And then, so I was like, okay, cool. So we're not basically breaking up, you know? So... It, it was a few, it was like a week after, no, the first week before Thanksgiving, like it was a few more days before Thanksgiving, I, like I saw her in the hallways, she said hi to me, and I said hi to her back. And then, two weeks after, I saw her in the hallways again. Completely ignored me. First of all, she ignores my text. I was like, hey, what's up, you know, trying to start a conversation with her. Completely, completely ignores it. Okay, she didn't say hi to me in the hallway. And she said she will. And that kind of hurt me. And I was like, I'm not gonna chase after her. Like, what the heck? I mean way more than she probably thinks. When I, when she needed help, I, oh, I, you know, offered it to her, everything. I, when my computer charger wasn't working anymore, so I couldn't upload, I asked her, I was like, hey, um, I'll give you my Gmail, my password. Can you please upload for me? Cause I really, really need someone to upload for me. Didn't even, she read, she read it didn't even say anything didn't even like and then she said she doesn't want me to think that she's fake and i was like no you're not fake you just need some space it's okay and i even said that in the facetime and after her not responding like not saying hi to me and i know okay you guys may think oh maybe she didn't see you whatever whatever no she was talking with her friend when i said hi to her and then she did this and she tried not to see me i tapped her didn't respond. I was like, okay, maybe she um, didn't feel the tap. But no, this time I tapped her harder on purpose. Still didn't turn around because she knew it was me. Guys, I just got out of the shower. But um, another thing, I saw her another time during our free period because uh, she changed locations and we were going to be at the same place. And when I went to go say hi to her, she was really rude to me for some reason. And I once again, I did nothing to her, so I have no idea why. But she was being really, really rude and just like, it's like I did something wrong. And like I talked smack about her, which by the way, I totally didn't, of course. 
And I was like, what the heck? And I told her, yo, why are you acting this way? And I told her straight up. And she was like, I'm kind of busy studying. And I was like, okay, maybe she, you know, because I saw a paper out, like, with a bunch of definitions. And it looked like she was studying. So I was like, okay. And then this other person came to her and talked to her. She literally w w had a freaking full conversation with him. And I was like, what the heck? I don't know. Just continue watching. She knew it. So... I don't know if we're friends. I don't know what we are. Like it sounds kind of weird because I'm not. I'm not lesbian. I'm not bi. So I don't really date girls at all. So it feels like we were in a like, you know, sexual relationship, but we're not. Um, but it did really hurt me really, really bad. Like I felt really hurt, and I st I, I don't know how I feel right now. But I'm making this um, for 2018 because I just want to let you guys know. This has been going on for a while, like, for a whole month. <laughs> and, um, I've been wanting to text her, I've been wanting to tell her this. But I feel like she won't even respond and pretend like she didn't see it. You know? Um, she always, she's a really good texter, actually. She responds, like, right away after you text her. So I know she saw my text, for sure. <sighs> I don't know what to call her, fake. I don't know, because she says she doesn't want me to think that she's fake. But after me tapping her and after me texting her numerous times i feel like why am i chasing after it like i i'm more than just what she thinks like i i'm worth more and so 2018 i'm going to remove all the bad energy i'm going to be removing all the toxic people in my life i'm going to be removing everybody who hurt me and who hurts me um, and I'm just going to continue this year with positive energy. Um, and I'm going to continue this year with a positive mindset. It's all about the positive mindset, guys. Um, I'm actually about to work out right after I finish filming this video. That's why I look a bit bummy. But it's okay. So yeah, that's about it. Um, I really hope you guys... I don't know if you guys enjoyed this video. This is just a sitting down video. No vlog, no anything. I feel like this video is pretty long of me just explaining uh, what has been happening between me and Melody. Once again... Don't send her any hate. Um, maybe she did this for a reason because I didn't do anything. Like, I promise you guys, I didn't do anything because I'm not that. Like, I would know. I wouldn't make a video about it if I did something wrong that made our relationship the way it is right now. I wouldn't, like, do this. I, I actually wouldn't make a video about it. But hopefully, if she does see this video, I don't know, Melody, yo, what's up? If you do see this video, I hope she, like, texts me and let me know. Uh, what's going on between us, but it's all good. Um, I'm just gonna continue this year. I'm gonna continue this day with a positive mindset. Yeah, I'm about to go work out and then go to Manhattan to visit my mom. You know, cool stuff. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Once again, sorry for not like a entertaining video. Um, but tomorrow is gonna be a pretty entertaining video, and this weekend is gonna be an amazing video. I'm doing a prank, which is gonna be pretty awesome. So. Yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see y'all tomorrow. I Peace. I love you. Stay positive. Work hard. Oh, man. I'm not going to stop the outro, bro. Don't forget to stay smiling. Don't forget to stay positive, and don't forget to work hard. I keep a positive mindset. I love you guys, okay? And, um, yeah, that's about it. Remove all the toxic people in your life, and you will be much, much more happier. Anyways, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace!